Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and answering a question that uh, uh, several viewers have asked me. Is my PC capable of running the November 2019 update? It's kind of old and I'm on the, uh, you know, October 2018 or, April, May, or April 2018 update. Uh, well, yes, um, there's really no structural changes to the basics of Windows 10 in here that uh, will prevent you from getting to November 2019 update. Once again, you know, I um, test versions of Windows 10 into older machines. Uh, one of them is testing on an old Core 2 Duo. One is testing on a five, almost six-ish year old um, Core i5 PC. And when I look at all of that, uh, what I understand is that these updates still work and they still work great. So that means that if you have an older PC, uh, you should be okay for the November 2019 update. You know, a lot of you have uh, told me over time, well, you know, I don't see the new updates. They don't actually arrive through Windows Update. They don't tell me I can upgrade. You know, I'm wondering why I don't see it. And most of the time, it's something very simple, something very, very basic that actually just prevents you from seeing the latest updates. Uh, of course, drivers. Make sure that you look at your drivers. You have the latest drivers installed for your hardware on your computer. That's one of the things you need to look at. The other thing is also um, antivirus. I've noted that uh, a lot of uh, the blog posts of people not seeing the latest versions of Windows 10 was because they're using a third-party antivirus and that software is incompatible. Antivirus companies, unfortunately, are often a little late in upgrading their software for the latest versions of Windows. And that, of course, means that when Windows update checks for updates, the telemetry, the information Microsoft has of your PC tells them, oh, okay, they're using Norton or McAfee or whatever, Kaspersky, and that the, the um, version of the antivirus is incompatible with the November 2019 update or the May 2018 uh, 2019 update, sorry. So that prevents you from seeing it. So one thing that you could try is see if you remove your antivirus, does it show up? If it does, well, your antivirus is the problem. And that's why I always, you know, you don't need third-party antivirus. The uh, antivirus within Windows is perfect and works great. Like I said, the security is mostly you, not the antivirus. The antivirus does not prevent you from being infected. What you do prevents you from being infected, and that's always something to remember. Of course, older drivers might be preventing you from upgrading, it could be a piece of software that you have installed that for some reason they're not sure or there's, you know, that they, maybe they know it will crash or something that prevents you. Uh, you know, if you are on the uh, April 2018 update and don't see any updates show up, uh, you know, we are, and I'm going to have a separate video on this, we are a month away from the last update for security to the uh, April 2018 update. So, um, you know, most of the time, and um, when we're late like this, I always say it, most of the time, the updates are okay. Most of the time, forcing it is okay. It's just that it's preferable, you know, it's always better to wait for it to appear by itself. But in a case where it doesn't, you know, going to the Microsoft Windows 10 web page and clicking that upgrade button will upgrade your machine and it's probably going to be just fine. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.